Right, see this here? Uh, the father of murdered police officer Nicola Hughes. I knew her. Um, she was police, well, she wasn't when I knew her, but she was going in on in the police. But it, it stinks to me all that what happened there because I, the lad got hold of an hand grenade. I mean, where'd you go and get hold of an hand grenade? In reality. You know, I wouldn't be able to go and get an hand grenade. There's not a lot I couldn't get. But I couldn't get an hand grenade. So what's going on? Look. Islamic fanatics. Here they go. The two Islamic fanatics found guilty of murder of soldier leader would be have appeals rejected. Hey. Does anybody know anybody who's in the jail and can vouch that they're in there? Huh? Huh? I tell you what, you'll struggle. You'll struggle. Unless that were part of the deal and they're going all the way and they're in there getting paid loads of money. And down the line they'll be off, but really they won't. They'll be back to wherever. Plenty of dough in the back pocket. Because we know that was just shit, don't we? Right, jailed for life with a minimum term of 45 years, but his family, if he is in there, could be rolling in it now. As he ran him down in a car, well that's been hacked to pieces by many channels and well done to those channels. What a load of crap. Yeah, we must revisit that day, but what I'd like to revisit that day and say is, with all the mobile phones that are out and about, where is the mobile phone camera evidence? It isn't there, why is that? Because it's bullshit. Come on, there were hundreds of people around in that. Incident, right? One mobile phone. No. I mean, I'm sure there were mass hypnosis going on that day. Yeah, let's see any no more of them. Absolute bollocks. A grenade attack. Very pant is that one. I mean. Very panties. Still, very sad for the families. And, um, you know, because she was just a young girl that joined the police force and got killed on a doorstep. You know what I mean? And no matter which way you want to look at that. A retired Sadworth doctor believes millions of British gas customers could have their email, could have had their emails act. That's his life. He used to be my doctor. That's doc, Miss, uh, Dr. Taylor. He used to be my doctor and... He was a good doctor and all. <laughs> Still going, is he? Yeah, he was a good doctor. Him. They do exist. It, I think he said to my dad once. <laughs> he had a, he'd gone in with a like, bad cold or something, you know, like a fluey one night, and he went, Have a whiskey. He said, It won't cure your cold, but it'll make you feel better. <laughs> Uh, seven people, including four from Oldham, have appeared in court following an investigation to child sexual exploitation. Bilal Ahmed. Let's look at that, eh? Yeah, he was my doctor, him, Dr. Taylor. Nice block. You see, where. Right, we've got Dila, Dylan Rasul. Rasul. Mohamed Sulman. Worsley Street, Gladick. Robbie Verbruggen, Coldhurst, Juba Rahman of Rochdale, Child Abduction, Hassan Ali of No Fixed Abode. Alright, see? So, hmm. They're building 200, 210 homes, well what did they do, that's going to sort it all out, isn't it? You know, it's really going to, that's going to sort it out. Yeah, because let's face it, in this country, you can't go and get a council house now, no chance, never going to happen. So you got to get a deposit, it could be £1,000, you're on your ass. Right, you need to just go and get a grand together. Just to have a roof over your head. <clears throat> right. And a lot of people can't do that. 
plus whatever you was at which you'd done that probably won't give you the deposit because like you very rarely get your deposit back don't you because they're all con then so you got to go and get another grand it's just bullshit you know, and what they've done is like they've got the houses and they've sold them to uh, private landlords now. Just giving control, really, because the private landlords got much more control, haven't they? Over the tenants. Rightly so, I mean, I'm not knocking that, but the houses that they bought used to be for the people from the system. So it's a real big swizz, that, isn't it? So you've gone from. Uh, you're in a mess. You know, you're wandering around dusting on people's settees, aren't you? Oh, God knows. See, that's a real con, that, what they've done there. You know, them buildings were built for people, weren't they? And they should have stayed like that. It should have been cheap accommodation for people that are on their ass. And they should be all over the country like they was, but no, they've been sold to people. You then end up with like 100 on the books or 150 houses. See, jobs for the boys, all funny handshakers, no doubt, right? That's a con that's happened in front of our faces. Yeah, and you might be a private landlord, and even if you are, you must admit it's wrong, that. It's totally wrong. NHS privatisation, Bill, it's already privatised because, you know, I, I caught an advert and it was saying, Oh, get this thing there and you can go to the front of the queue if you become ill. And then the woman says, oh, it probably saved my life. What do you mean when it's, you know, it's all there in it. Well, you say you've got private health care, right, and you end up, you still end up at an NHS hospital, don't you? You see, but you've paid your way. So it's, it's already privatised if that's the case. Is it not? Am I right? Yes, I am. See so what they're doing? Pixie, pixie dust in your face. 600,000 to stay out of trouble young Aldermans will be able to keep out of trouble with a new £600,000 fund <sighs> what I'm not going near the Christie team from being cute to a beauty queen oh fair enough councils all female executive kid team Girl power has swept in Oldham Council with the unveiling of an all-female executive team. Ah. What a load of crap. Ooh. And they'll be more evil than men than when they get together. I promise you that. F far more evil. You won't be, you know... You won't get a warning, you'll get slammed. Because that's what they like, they like little littlers, aren't they? And you get a little group like that, all mind controlled from crap. That's just sunk the life out of me, that. Council's all female executive team. Well, that's, isn't that just whoop de do, eh? Whoop de do. Things aren't fair, so let's. Let's make it look like the fur by doing doing a manoeuvre like that. And you know, there was a time in school when you got in trouble and you wanted, you know, sometimes you'd have rather had the big bloke, wouldn't you? Because they were more fur, you see. You know what I mean? Some of them women were pretty cold, weren't they? Now you've got a... You've got a... <laughs> you've, got, you've just got women in there. Oh, I'll be like... Oh, God. If you don't say, if, you, if you're into this feminism, you got to think about it, I'm telling you now. Because uh, the world's about balance, isn't it? We'll be one.